welcomes Gene Stallman's partner, number one contender for Udo Chin to look at first fight. The man that will face Rampage for Udo title, and the man who will call that dream match in the main event, will love that first fight when he faces Rampage. And this will be the first time ever he's going to teams up with the Destroyer. Well, these two men have rarely ever touched one another throughout their UA career, but tonight they'll be teaming up for the first time. Now introducing his partner, from Heathens Row Kevlon, he is the God of War, the Destroyer. And folks, the only time to destroy these ones ever fought each other, the last year's do or die, they were the last two members left in that elimination chamber for the Master Ring, of course, but Gene Stalin was victorious. But square to spare, and these two men were pushing the majority of the match, so at least from the middle to the very end. But have they ever touched one another? But tonight, they're not about enemies, at least for the, at least for the early goals. Now they're teaming up. We heard earlier tonight that discussion between the Destroyer and Gene Starwin. And he did, and, you know, the Destroyer, he did say that he could, the Gene Starwin could potentially be teaming up here tonight with his opponent at Pandemonium 11 if the store was able to defeat Rampage at Love at First Fight. And obviously, he can never really, he never really can trust the score as a tag team partner. Hell, everyone knows last year, in the middle of 2009, the tag team match, the story was here with Samoa Joe, and out of nowhere at the end of the match, this did the Kimani Cyclone to Samoa Joe on the dim, and now it's right in front of us, and that was such impact. I'm still picking slint splinters out of my ass after that exploding table. Like these two men just staring each other down here. It's been well documented, the, the mutual respect between Rampage and Gene Starwin. I mean, remember, last year, if there's one thing to take from last year, Rampage was on a almost a year-long vendetta to go through every Nation of Violence member. And then once Gene Stone broke away from the Nation of Violence, he would have the same agenda as Rampage as well to take down the Nation of Violence, and especially Lord Magma. And after that, Gene Stone and Rampage had mutual respect towards one another. Definitely mutual respect indeed, but you see Rampage is that brutal, is that, that, that shot from that that right foot, that ankle right into the temple of Gene Starr. But look at Gene Starr, able to come back. Wait a minute, this can't be this DDT already. Come on, he's playing them. I mean, where did this momentum from Gene Starr come from? Out of nowhere, look at the stories applauding Gene Starr from that. But unfortunately, able to go for the unable to go for the cover. But Gene Starr want for taking the destroy here. I mean, we can down rampage. That's exactly what they do. They go that high low with the destroyer on that spared rampage. You just saw the stories just begging to get in to face rampage. Of course, the man's been facing a little first fight for the UBA championship. And hell, last week the destroyer. I mean, he uh, he earned the opportunity to face rampage a little first fight after the last week winning that number one contender match against the likes of Vaughn Creed and the Ace of Spades, Luke Fowler. Who, who two men, by the way, are also a pit, hit headlined Pandemonium in the past. Of course, Von Creed fought Samojo in a hell of a summit to Pandemonium 9. And of course, Luke Fowler facing Vicious in the main event at Pandemonium 6. Look at this. And, oh! A huge T-bone suplex by Rampage. And hell, even the Destroyer himself, he's no stranger to the Pandemonium main event. He used the Master Ring last year to insert himself in the main event along the likes of the franchise player Samoa Joe and Planet X. Of course, the match didn't go in the favor that the show was looking for, of course, losing the Planet X at the very end. And so far, the story actually holding his own against Rampage. And, ah, one handed Spine Buster! This is sort of thrusting down Rampage on the mat with one hand. Absolute ease. Rock, I mean, by the sounds of it, you're making it seem like you're surprised that the story is actually going toe to toe with Rampage here. And I mean, I mean, come on, the story rightfully earned his spot facing the cha the champion Rampage at Little First Fight when he defeated those two main eventers in Luke Fowler and Von Greed. So he 
there is no surprise here that the Destroyer is facing Rampage. Remember, we'll see, like I said before, Rampage and the Destroyer have never fought each other one bit you know, since coming to the UWA. And, you know, everyone is just assuming, oh, wait a minute, look at this, Lord Magma's rushing down the ring here. Also, Lord Magma is a man to be meeting both Samoa Joe and Jean Starwind in the one way ticket money the bank ladder match. I guess Lord Magma wants a front row seat, the hottest ticket in the house here to see this main event here. You see him in the back, arms pacing left and right, and look at Jean Starwind. We all know remember what happened between these two, man. I mean, come on. Lord Man walking away from Team Starwin. It looks like he was egging him on to do something, but I think, as you said, Lord Magma just wants, and he just wants that front row seat, just spectating the potential of his enemies in the future, just scouting out these four men. Look at this, the Destroyer tags in Team Starwin. He started going after Samoa Joe. Remember, Samoa Joe's definitely got a lot to prove in this match. And with the final allow I mean, I mean, Samoa Joe, Samoa Joe pretty much got one up by the ace of spades, Luke Fowler, you know, back at square despair. But, you know, I can't really say Samoa did not deserve what he got from Luke Fowler for coming up. He pretty much screwed Gene Starr out the opportunity to compete for the UBA Championship by throwing his head into a, a you know, a car window, causing him to, to once again get a concussion. And look at this, we see Rampage working on Lord Maverick, throwing him into the ring. And the Destroyer to trying to get involved, but to no avail. And you know, at some point, that the, that these men, at least all four of these men in this match, with the exception of the Destroyer, have some kind of beef or history with Lord Magma. And now, once again, you see he's starting to do that DDT on the Samoa Joe. Oh, and with the help of Rampage Jackson, Samoa Joe able to get out of that, you know, that, that pin attempt. I'm not necessarily confident that would even have put him away in the begin with, but. Still using the help of a Rampage. Look at this Rampage taking out the match in this. Going after Lord Magma. Actually, I think Lord Magma pulled Rampage off the apron. Try to get a cheap shot in there. And Rampage Kurt is clearly just taking the attention away from Samoa Joe and Gene Stone here for Colonel Loud, folks. This is freaking Samoa Joe and freaking Gene Stone for the first time actually fighting each other since Square Despair. And remember, folks, and look at this. now all the men are getting involved with Lord Magma here. I mean, man, Lord Magma has been absolutely a total distraction here in the, since the beginning of this matchup. I mean, for crying out loud, I mean, remember, folks, it was Gene Starr who was the first man announced to be a part of the one way ticket money the bank ladder match. And Gene Starr actually went to the enforcer, Nick Wills, and demanded that Samoto was put in that match so Gene Starr has an opportunity to face him at the next CPV. And now look at this, the Rampage tag back in and he's doing this, this hammer and chin lock. And the sword once again trying to beg and plead, is anxious to get back in the ring there. Yeah, I'm sure all momentum is favoring here, this is the fresh man. He wants that hot tag and he wants it now. So once again, he keeps seeing Lord Magma walking around the ringside area. All, all these four men, I'll just ignore Lord Magma. He's an intention whore pretty much. Why are you really even out here, Lord Magma? I mean, just go to the back, you're not going to do anything. And nonetheless, it's that huge hammer fist off the top rope, that double axe handle. And now Rampage putting, he's starting in the corner. Wait, tagging to Samoa Joe here. No, oh, he's shows, wait, Samoa Joe, the big man. Oh my, that senton. Man, it's just, oh, it's, it's moments like that just make you just, you know, just get a breath of fresh air just from Samoa Joe just he really he makes you realize that he's like a cruiserweight for God's sake he's freaking 285 pounds but he's built like a cruiserweight he can moves like that but can you ever see Samoa Joe jumping off the top of being a freaking senton no so freaking read and look at this once again Samoa Joe and he's on back at it Samoa Joe look at this been held in place by the Destroyer. Ron P. Starring is part of the get a headbutt in there. I don't know if that's a smart move there. So sort of headbutting a Samoan. It's a stereotype that Samoans have hard ass heads. Oh, that huge ass King Leonidas boot by the Destroyer there. Yeah, I mean, that might have injured 
Gene Stahl more than injured Samoa Joe. That might be exactly why Gene Stahl tagged right out and destroyed after the headbutt. I mean, that might even gave him a concussion. Who knows? But look at this to destroy King of Samoa Joe with that arm drag. This goes up to the spine. Oh my! This, God, that huge elevated foot, that boot, right in the face of Samoa Joe. And then that corkscrew. Oh, oh, come on, Lorne Magman, and once again, Lorne Magman, Rampage, duking it out on the outside, and Rampage just gets thrown in. And the referee just casually asking Rampage to get out, which he kindly does. The score still has the momentum against Samoa Joe here. And look at this. Oh, that, that drop off the top of one of sitting Samoa Joe. And the cylinder is absolutely rocked here. Look at this. And oh, that huge. Huge modified fireman scary slam. Not to go for a Kimonian cyclone there. This destroys thing up the momentum from the crowd here tonight. All oh, the crowd is sitting on their feet. This is some this is a story is a total well, this absolute total war path on a Samoa Joe here. I mean, usually when we're involved with Samoa Joe, usually the other way around. Usually it's Samoa Joe wrecking shop. And look at this. Oh, that Tower of Heathens Row. You can pretty much say that the destroyer's been flipped from defensive mode to berserker mode. I mean, come on. He's just absolutely squashing Samoa Joe here in the last few minutes. Samoa Joe really needs to, needs to tag in the Quinn Rampage Jackson. But Rampage Jackson is, it's, you know, his, his attention is clearly not in this matchup. And look at that. My God, that huge super Kevlarian destroyer at the top row. He calls out the Colonium Eliminator. If you have not seen that yet, and that's a three count Samoa Joe. My God, Samoa Joe might have a broken neck. He might have a broken neck. The team may not be able to compete at the first part of the moment. Take him on the bank ladder match. Probably he's slicing, folks. The Destroyer and Dean Stone looking to huge. With this huge victory tonight. The Destroyer getting a huge win against the man. The team with the rampage, with the, of course, the main spacing low first. Look at this. Team up by Samoa Joe and rampage. Look at this. Oh my, that huge ascent on my Samoa Joe of all people. Obviously, got a time action. Look at this. That Kimwani Eliminator on the top rope. That spelt the end. That spelt the L for Samoa Joe. Is up for Robert Sweet County. He gets the three count. It's my Lord Magma's interference. The store comes on top. Here's your winner, the urban legend, Gene Starwin, the Destroyer. So, so thank you for joining us here on episode 44 of Assault's Last Week. will see us until we're the first fight. We don't, we don't forget to join us. We have a huge night for you to the Tag Team Tournament Finals. Notice how on the line, of course, Grudge Match between Entertainment Renegade Diva and, of course, Gene Starwin and the woman to win the bank match. And, of course, we have... Rampage and the Destroyer in an Ultimate Dream Match.